Yo, what's good people? Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Knee Liver Neo. So this is a review video. I actually have it here. So, so I actually built myself a cross up, as you can see. And essentially what the Knee Liver Neo is, is it's a Crown 309 on steroids. Essentially, it's, it's, it's a crazy lever and it's very consistent, very high quality materials. And I just enjoy the components. I really like the, you know, the bigger actuator and the switches feel nice. I always like Gersong A3 switches, but I really do prefer the crown style of, of lever. For me personally, I just feel like the directions, the QCFs, the QCBs, you know, all the input to me feel more consistent than Fanta style levers. I always have issues with kind of direction inconsistencies and I actually have a knee version one, which is a Fanta style lever. And even on that lever, I have direction inconsistency. So for example, left will feel very slightly mushy and then right will feel very slightly harder to actuate and I don't know if that's intentional but I just don't like that and I feel like Crown they do a better job of kind of direction consistency and making sure that each direction and I also prefer the diagonals as well so we're going to get into the components the how it feels to play on it the switches sound testing all that stuff so stay tuned do me a favor like comment subscribe like it will help with the algorithm commenting will also help with the algorithm and then subscribing will let me know that you enjoy the content let's get into it okay we're gonna look at some components so shout out ist my guys over in korea I, I really like this website because it just has everything you know like it just has everything arcade korea it has everything you can think of and the shipping's really good actually they use it depends what shipping you pay for i usually pay for dpd so from korea to the uk takes about four to five days so it's very very reliable and quick shipping yes the shipping can be a little bit pricey but you know you get what you pay for the shipping is very very good the listing is very very detailed and actually one thing to note is knee uses this version of the lever because it has a, a couple iterations of the lever so it has premium version of this lever and actually if knee is using this version then that kind of tells you all you need to know don't fall for the marketing even though this lever is very good the premium style of the lever is only for kind of like collector purposes whereas this is the most practical in my opinion so yeah this lever is obviously it has as mentioned before has gerson a3 the difference in these gerson a3s is you can see that these hinges are slightly more wide so this gives the switch a little bit more stability and then this one i believe is for the down or the up switch either one of the two and this is a regular hinge style the most important things i would say about this lever in terms of the components is the shaft size is just a standard crown shaft this has it's slightly modified because of this kind of nick in the shaft but apart from that you know if you already play with like a crown through a nine or a help me it won't feel too alien to you to use this uh to use this lever then we have the knee grommet and all this is is a slightly more rigid tougher i would i would describe it as kind of soft medium so if you guys have played with the violet one i actually have one but i'm not going to get it out of the box there's a violet one which is 30 st which is in between the really really light one which is the white version and then it has a blue version which is 35 st so that's in between and i feel like this is slightly more just ever so slightly more tougher than the soft medium so i i'm comfortable playing with this usually medium tension is too tough for me but i actually really like this tension so this is good for people that like you know the soft medium tension but it's a little bit more rigid i would say a little bit more i think the rating for this is actually 32 it's in between 30 and 32 so yeah it's not drastically more stiff than the violet one but it is a little bit more i can notice it just a slight touch then one thing to note is that it has a switch kind of a switch mounting plate I don't know what the official term for this is, but it's a switch plate and it forces the switches to be flat, which was a problem in previous iterations of, you know, crown levers and, and fantasy style levers. You can buy switch plates to, to force the switches to be flat. So that's nice that that's included. And also if you zoom in, you can see that it, it has directions. So like when you're mounting the lever, you can tell what direction the lever has to be mounted in, which is really nice because sometimes it's difficult to tell based on where the switches are placed. You know, that there is a little bit of a gap in between certain switches. And sometimes it can be, especially for people that don't know what they're doing, it can be very difficult to tell how to mount the lever. So the fact that this has directions is really, really nice and has quality of life option that they considered. So that's really nice. I really 
like the attention to detail in the switch plate on top so that's a really nice touch so the actuator is actually a 16.1 millimeter actuator so this is kind of falls in line with the crown sizing of actuators so that means that the throw isn't quite as big as fanta style typically the throw on crown levers is shorter it does depend on what crown you're using but let's say a crown 309 the throw is actually quite short the throw is determined by the housing itself so how far the lever can move in, in one direction so how far you can actually move it and then the switches also has a kind of part to play in that and the actuator does so all of those things combined can contribute to how large or short a throw feels so yeah the knee lever neo does not have a massive throw it's it's quite medium on the shorter side i would say and i i prefer that one thing i will say is that i nearly forgot to mention this is how did i forget the handle itself the bat top is a capsule style which can be strange at first because usually it tapers off so like it this bit will be the same but it tapers off it will kind of just thin out a little bit here but actually this handle is kind of it maintains the thickness all throughout the length of it so it feels nice to play on i don't necessarily i wouldn't necessarily say it's better than a standard bat up style you know like the tapered off i wouldn't say it feels better but it it feels just fine and i play with it just fine so you know some people do prefer these these kind of handles but for me i like this handle and i like the regular you know tapered off standard crown handle i like them both So we have the lever here in my custom cross up. First off, I will say the diagonals feel really, really consistent on this lever. And that's something that I struggled with on the V1. Very, very consistent. So instant wall standings, electrics, sidestepping feels good. And I'm not getting random jumps. That's another thing as well. When I'm importing stuff, a lot of times I would get random jumps on my levers, but I'm not actually getting that on this. It feels very consistent. So overall, I think this lever is very consistent. So like, you know, QCFs are very, very consistent. And then like, you know, electrics. And as I said, I'm not stick player and I'm not having any, any problems, you know, wave dashing, electrics, no random jumps. Sidestepping feels very clean and responsive. So no issues with inputs and as I said I'm not a stick player but I have no issues using this lever and I really like the capsule top actually I feel like it allows me to grip the lever with a bit more precision I really do like the capsule top but again very consistent inputs very consistent QCFs which is what you need you know especially if you play Mishimas you need those consistent electrics and I'm not a machine player I'm not a stick player and I'm doing this with no issues so Again, I really, really do like the knee lever Neo. I think it's very premium. And as I said, I really do feel like it's just the Crown 309 on steroids. It's, it's crazy. So hope you enjoyed. Peace.